Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org and we are going to talk about chars in this tutorial. And what a char is, stands for character. Char is the, the shortened uh, word for character, but that's the keyword that we're going to use in C++. And the way you declare a char is you just say char, and we can say char letter equals uh, M. Okay, and it's a lowercase m, and an uppercase m is different than a lowercase m, and I'll show you why in a minute. And char has a storage value of 128, which would be 2 to the 8th power. So if you think about it, we have 128 different characters to work with. And we, we're going to use a standardized code called the ASCII code and what that does is it standardized what letters and what numbers and what other types of uh, keys represent what int and the reason I say int is because if we have 0 to 127 possible values each int value represents a specific char and you can find resources online to what they uh, map out to but to show you that well to declare let me go back to this first when we declare strings we haven't gotten into that yet but a string is just a bunch of chars put together and the way you declare a string is you'd have two uh, double quote um, around the, the word or whatever you're using so the difference between that and a char is we're going to use single quotes right there to declare M to letter. But if we wanted to find that it does represent an int, let's do this. Let's see out. And I'm going to keep doing things that we haven't gone over yet, but kind of we need to do that to show its purpose. And we're going to cast this to an int. So we're going to print out letter, which is a char, but we're going to cast it to an int and you don't have to know that for right now but just know that um, we're gonna take M and we're gonna get the integer value of it and to show you that there is an integer value behind each char okay so we got 109 so if we wanted to print out let's say um, int uh, let's say next letter equals and what did we get again um, let me just set that to a default value real quick. I think it was 109. Yep. So if we say next letter equals 110, and let's cast that to a char and print out next letter, what do you think we should get? We should get a, a lowercase n. And we did. So now you know that ints are behind chars. So I'm going to show you a cool thing we can do real quick. We're going to use what's called a for loop, and I'm going to loop through all 128 values that are stored in the ASCII code. So we don't know for loops yet either, but just bear with me. This is more of just trying to show you uh, what's behind all this, and I gotta unfortunately use stuff you don't know to show you to try to teach you stuff. The, the more simple stuff. So we're going to say for, oops, I didn't want to declare it to zero. We're going to set an int i. And in this for loop, we're going to set i to zero. And we want this loop to run while i is less than 128. So it should run zero, one, two, three, etc., all the way to 127. And as soon as it gets to 128, we're not going to run the code because 128 is no longer less than 128 it's equal to it so and our next bit is going to be I plus plus alright so basically what the for loop does is it initializes this uh, variable I to zero and it's going to check this right here this boolean thing if for right now it's zero if zero is less than 128 run the code inside and it is so we're going to run the code inside and then after we run it we're going to increment i so then it's one and it'll recheck that so as soon as it gets to 128 it's going to get out of this loop but we want to print out 
We're going to print out, we're going to cast i to a char. So we're going to get, it's going to print out 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, but we're casting it to a char, so we're going to get the char value of each number all the way up to 127, so 0 to 127. Okay, so let's see what they are. So let's run this code right here and see what we get. All right, so starting here, that I guess some smiley face is zero, and we go all the way to 127. So we have numbers, special uh, other characters like the money sign, percent sign, ampersand, all of those, uh, a couple of these signs, and then we have uppercase letters and a few more signs and then we go to lowercase letters so if you are typing a password for instance and you get it wrong because you didn't capitalize a certain letter that's because they're checking the int value of each character and a uppercase a is not equivalent to the lowercase a so now that we've gone over characters that will help us once we get into strings and I guess we have a brief little inter introduction into the for loop so hopefully that will help as well thank you guys for watching and join me in the next tutorial and please subscribe below